by Bosch and Gormley in the BMW. And also up there, Mark Suli and Jean-Marc Forta in the Ford Sierra Cosworth. It's decisive two this one for the German Championship because Erwin Weber needs only four more points to become the German Rally Champion. So, at the top of the European Championship so far this, this year, Piero Liatti and Luciano Tedeschini in the Lancia. And as they wait for the start of the first special stage on the German Rally, they'll all be aware of just how important this one is. So, day one, and uh, a special stage all around the Nürburgring. The weather is atrocious, very difficult conditions. As we watch uh, Joki Kleint and Walter Schleicher in the Mitsubishi Gallant. Normally in a BMW, but on this rally, Kleint and Schleicher are driving for Mitsubishi. And this is Joki Kleint explaining that uh, his effort this time is with Mitsubishi to help them try and get up to the top of the championship. And they've been doing well so far, leading for some time now and scoring wins on two special stages. But a puncture towards the end of the day costs them the lead. Holzer and Wendel have to win to keep their chances alive this year. But uh, they put in a fantastic performance, two best times on special stages, and only three seconds now behind the leading team of Liati and Tedeschini in the Lancia. In fourth place are the newcomers, Michael Gerber and Peter Toole in the Mitsubishi. So Mitsubishi making a big effort here on the German rally. It's Wetzelsberger and Seiter in the Toyota Celica. And they could be runner-up this year. Sixth on day one, but the winners, Erwin Weber and Manfred Heimer, leading with three seconds after eight special stages in the works Volkswagen Golf. And there they are, Erwin Weber and Manfred Heimer. And it's been a tremendous year for this pairing in the... Uh, little Volkswagen, the little blue and white Volkswagen, as we ride with Erwin Weber driving and Manfred Heimer navigating along an extremely wet and greasy special stage, this one on tarmac. And as you can see, there's not much room between them, the grass and the barrier. But Weber's well in command, as he's proved all this year. And he only needs four more points, Erwin Weber, to take him and Volkswagen to the top of the championship. Success for them, but bad luck for uh, Raimund uh, Baumschlager, who has had uh, his problems in the other Volkswagen. The clutch pedal got stuck after the fifth special stage, and that put him out. So uh, they had uh, tremendous bad luck after only five stages and had to retire again. So day one, it's Weber, Holzer in the Mitsubishi, Liati in the Lancia, Gerber in the Mitsubishi again, and Wetzelsberger in the Toyota in fifth place. That's the result at the end of the first day. Second day, major change of weather conditions. Sunny, dry, the rain, the uh, terrible conditions of day one behind them. And the fastest Group N car so far, the Ford Sierra Cosworth of Millicent and France. Number 18, the Ford Sierra Cosworth. Although, in fact, at the beginning of the second day, Millicent was not feeling well. Not so much training. I have four, th some three, three times stage training. Because I'm one day sick and one day to go to hospital. Very, very problem, big problem. That's not okay. I'm first. I'm leading group N. I'm happy, but she push, push very hard, and I hope uh, can I stay first group N, of course. The 
the Belgian, Jean-Marie Milissot, telling us about uh, his health problems on the first two days of the rally, something you definitely don't need on a tough event like this. This is Dieter Depping in the Ford Sierra, telling us that it's a hard, hard competition, this one. He has a good lead so far, but uh, they can't afford to relax. Anything can happen. How right he is in a rally. The camera now in the Ford Sierra Cosworth of Dieter Depping and Lothar Lutmann as day two begins in far better conditions. This is Dieter Depping at the wheel. A precise, smooth and calm driver, Depping. Not, not very spectacular, but he does put the times in. And uh, he's running second at the moment. That's Kalle Grundl and Klaus Hopfer from Sweden in the Peugeot 309. The fastest so far are the front-wheel drive cars, that, with a chance to win Group A up to two litres against uh, Erwin Doctor and Tony Roerings from Holland in the Opel Cadet. Grundl and Hopfer in the Peugeot. Still a successful rally car, the 309 GTI. Despite its uh, lack of four-wheel drive, it's only a front-wheel drive car, that Peugeot, but when it's driven by people like Kalle Grundl, it's still a very quick rally car indeed. This is the Opel of Erwin Doktor and Tony Rodings from Holland. The Opel Cadet GCI, the 16-valve engine in that Opel. Another very effective little rally car. And they're well up in the Group A battle so far. So after 10 special stages, not a good day for Mitsubishi. Yoki Kleint and Walter Schleicher Leading in fifth place until the ninth special stage, only 11 seconds behind the leading team at the service point, Joki Kleint has not had the kind of day that he really wants. Kleint would much prefer to be right up in the lead. But uh, he's down in fifth place after quite a few problems with the Mitsubishi. And as you can see, the cause of most of those is making contact with the scenery. That's uh, Joki Kleint, the driver on the left there, explaining that uh, they went off the circuit in an S-bend, straight into a wooden fence, and that didn't do the Mitsubishi any good at all. In fact, the, the guys couldn't repair that car, so it was a retirement for Joki Kleint. And Mitsubishi now putting all the work behind Holzer and Wendel and Gerber and Toole, who are fifth and uh, fourth and fifth, respectively. Fast, spectacular drivers, these, in the other Mitsubishis. And uh, despite a couple of spins, they're still up in the top ten so far in the German rally. This is Gerber's co-driver, Peter Toole, and uh, he's saying they're driving to strict instructions, they must finish. No spectacular offs, they must just finish the rally, so they're driving carefully, trying to score points for Mitsubishi, and that's what they've been told to do by the team leader, and that's what they're going to do. But at the next service point, there is disappointment for the Mitsubishi team again. He said that uh, he felt the brakes go a bit spongy. The car spun straight off the, the uh, road and down a bank. It cannot be repaired. And so with that uh, Holzer Wendel Mitsubishi out of the rally, Erwin Weber and Manfred Heimer become the German rally champions for 1991. They cannot be beaten now, and this is Erwin Weber. Everybody, of course, is asking him about the championship, but he quite rightly says he wants to finish this rally and then he'll think about being the champion. He says it's just as important to win this rally for Volkswagen as it is to win the championship, and uh, he's concentrating still on winning the German rally. He can't be beaten to the championship, but there's still a lot of miles to go. This is the Audi of Wetzelsberger and Bernd Seiter, who were later to retire from the rally. And this is Andy Wetzelsberger. 
said he had a problem with his concentration on the special stage. He had new tires and new brakes, and uh, the combination of those two caught him out. He said he went into the corner too fast and hit a tree, damaging the fuel tank. Well, at least he's on honest, Andy Wetzelsberger. He uh, hasn't got the book of excuses out this time. He just says he lost his concentration with new brakes and uh, new tires and the car went off the road into a tree. Simple as that. Andy Wetzelsberger out of the rally for Audi. So Erwin Weber and Manfred Heimer in the little blue and white golf winning the championship. And on the second day of this rally, they're leading by 19 seconds from Liati and Tedeschini in the Lancia Delta Integrale. And in third place, Michael Gerber and Peter Toole follow up behind. So it's been a good rally for the uh, Lancia Integrale of Liati and Tedeschini, the Italians. Although they just can't at the moment get on terms with Weber and Heimer in the Volkswagen. But there are still plenty of miles to go. On this, the uh, German rally, part of the European Championship. Fourth place for the John Bosch, Kevin Gormley BMW, despite clutch problems. A good drive by uh, Bosch and Gormley up into fourth place. And uh, you can hear the clutch slipping as they climb up the special stage. Fifth place, the uh, Belgian, Belgian crew, Stule and Forta in the Ford Sierra Cosworth. Spectacular rally car, the Sierra Cosworth. And uh, a car that does well all over the world, of course. Kalle Grundl and Klaus Hopfer, sixth, leaders in Group N. Jean-Marie Millicent and Jean-Louis France still up at the front with uh, Dieter Depping and Lothar Lutman behind. And in the overall standing so far in the rally, Millicent is seventh, Depping eighth, and ninth, Erwin Doctor in the Opel Cadet. So a good showing that from the little Opel Cadet. Erwin Doktor driving into ninth position. Werner Langhausen is tenth. Privateers helping each other out here. And uh, there's a lot, of, uh, a lot of good sportsmanship amongst the privateers once you get outside the big professional teams in the top ten. Some of them uh, going to the finish on three wheels, but three wheels will do. In fact, two will do when you're trying to get to the finish in a rally. Touch too quick there for uh, one of the back markers. But at the end of the second day, it's Weber in the Volkswagen, followed by Liati in the Lancia, Gerber in the Mitsubishi, Bosch in the BMW, and the Belgian Sule in the Sierra Cosworth. So, day three now. The third and last day of the rally, this 141 kilometers over 10 special stages. Day three, the last day of the rally. Everything's still to play for, as Erwin Weber pointed out. Weber leading now for two and a half days. He wants to win, obviously, but it's going to be close. He knows that, and he's going to fight right to the finish. No thoughts of the championship. All his thoughts concentrated on this, the last day. Piero Latti, driving the Lancia Integrale, says he will be trying to go even quicker on this the last day because uh, he knows these stages well, he wants the points, and he wants to win the rally. He's not letting Weber go in the historic town of Adenau after 361 kilometers of special stages. The winners... Piero Lati and Luciano Tedeschini, who move nearer to the top of the European Championships with this win in Germany. The Italians there, right at the top of the table in the Lancia. Piero Lati and Luciano Tedeschini. Weber second in the VW, Gerber in the Mitsubishi, Bosch in the BMW, and Sule in the Ford, making up the top five. And there is Erwin Weber, 